Listen, it should be enough if Mexico is going to put troops on the border and have increased urgency. And if the tariffs help get them there, great, even if they were talking about it before. Why torture with what it is and what it isn't? The president had to tease today, not once, but twice. Actually, four times. That's the agreement that everybody says they don't have. But here's the agreement. It's a very simple agreement. So here's your thing. You know, they all say, oh, he does it. I, I just give you my word. So right here is the agreement. It's very simple. It's right here. Look, I mean, he sent me a copy. It's right here. I mean, if you just look right here, you'll see it. I mean, there it is. What else do you need to see? The deal is done, but we just can't see it yet. So we've taken a closer. This is where we are. We had to take these snapshots of the piece of paper that he was waving at the press. And it looks like it does, in fact, mention Mexico and migrants. But is it things that they were discussing? Or is it new? Is he playing us? Does it matter? On Monday, the Mexican foreign minister held up his own piece of paper. He says no such secret agreement exists. D. Lemon, what do you got? I'm holding in my hand. You're not old enough to remember that, are Johnny you? Johnny Carson? <laughs> Karnak the Great. Karnak the Great. <laughs> One of the funniest skits on late night television. But he's anything if he's a, if, if he's a showman. You know what I mean? I just he's don't get the need for the exaggeration here. I know people can say, oh, Mexico was doing all this before. Look, the threat of the tariffs moved them. You can say he shouldn't have done it this way. Brinksmanship doesn't work. It hurts our standing. It hurts them for the, uh, the authorization of the upcoming trade deal that they want to. You can argue all that. But isn't it enough? When it, why does he have to do that with the paper? He knows it's going to bring <laughs> criticism. Because he can't help himself. Listen, I mean, whatever, you can feel the way you, listen, believe what, what you want to believe. I will believe it when I see it, because all of the reporting shows that Mexico had begun to do things, because he was saying Mexico had done nothing. Mexico had begun to do things in the way of trying to keep people from coming across uh, the border. It's they true. had ramped up security. They had, ramped up, they had done more arrests. Um, they had even released a statement on a, the Monday before um, this weekend talking about what they were doing and what they had planned right. to do, and then the president comes out with this. So when I see the actual agreement, and I look at what has been done before, then I can make an assessment. But if the, you know, if the history shows anything, uh, the president created this crisis so that he could come in at the end and Boy. say, look, I fixed it, and I've got the piece of paper in my hand, much like he, he walks into the briefing room and says, I've done it all. Make sure you tune in. I, it's going to be about, you know, he has uh, definitely oversold before, but this time, the, the acting head of DHS, who's been a straight shooter in my reporting thus far, says, look, <clears> the <throat> amount of troops that they're putting on the border with Guatemala is going to be more and happen sooner that's than good. we had expected. I hope and it, that is good. I hope I'll take it. progress where we find it. I hope that's it. Uh, good stuff coming up. So, you know, you remember the whole thing that happened with um, Hillary Clinton and the, and the president and his folks. They do the same thing with Nancy Pelosi. They put out the fake videos that she's drunk sure. or that Hillary, something is wrong with Hillary Clinton's death. Mm -hmm. Well, they're at it again when it comes to Joe Biden. And our senior media correspondent has put together the evidence that um, the president, the folks who in, I guess, who speak for him and also Fox News putting forward these conspiracy theories. And by the way, you remember in 2016, just so you know for the facts, you know who the most traveled Secretary of State in history was or is as who? of this moment? Hillary Clinton. An exhaustive, record-breaking schedule. She went to more countries than any other Secretary of State, second in miles traveled, air miles traveled, only to Condoleezza Rice. So she had some stamina, a lot of stamina when she was the Secretary of State. She but they question her fitness or her health, I should say. If something's being doctored, expose it, make sure people know what they're being sold.